Welcome back, everybody, to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I am Noden, your host, as always, your dapper friend, hanging out by the morgue. So, what, what's, what's going on? What's going on in our lives? So, we have been, we're, we're doing an investigation into the, the mysterious murder of a old sea captain guy who got, like, I don't know, killed with a harpoon that went like through his body and like into a wall and there's like a kid thing going on. I don't remember everything that's going on. Um, or I do, but I mean, it seems like a lot. So let's figure out, okay, so let's investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Uh, John Nelligan uh, seems not to be a useful thief. What is his role in all that? Oh, a usual thief. Helps to read the words there, Noden. You know, I, I find that if you uh, read the words, uh, you get uh, much better at solving the mysteries. Ship's log for the year 1883 might put some light on connection between Peter Carey and Nelligan's father. Alright, so what do we actually need to do? Do I have a, hey, do this thing? Documents, Dawson's. Okay, so we can, oh, let's probably just go. We need to find a ship's log. Is that what we need to do? Okay, so let's go, we need a ship's log. Uh, which should be in the place. There. It should be there. Oh, can I just go from that map? Can we not hit escape? How about we try that? So let's go to... Back to Woodsman's Lee. And we will take a look inside the shed. Oh, the sound of this carriage made me think that one of the cats was doing a thing. And it made me just, like, freak out suddenly. I just had this, like like, ripple of energy goes around, what are you doing, you little bastards? And then we would have had two murders to investigate. Oh, um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt them, but, uh, evidence required. Yes, we need to find another boot before we can investigate that. Um, I'm actually, it's like actually very late at night. Ship's log. 1883. Exam. That's the one I need. This hmm. is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Peter Carey, Master. Charles Addison. You have two names, one of a boy and one of a girl. First mate. Yeah, bet you were the first mate. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Um, we're looking for Hannigan. Hannigan, 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 Hannigan. I don't see anything. Log notes for June. Hmm. Nothing unusual. Uh, Log I? notes for July. Nothing special. I think we won't even bother reading. Log them. notes for <gasps> August. Oh, there we go. These pages have been torn away. And what is Canadian this? Pacific Railway Ooh. CPR? A torn piece from a bond certificate. Canada. I have seen I'm from this that abbreviation country. somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. In this nefarious whale hunting. Um... Excuse me. I was gonna say, it's very late, and I'm actually just back from the gym. So I'm like drinking my protein shake as I do this, and, um, uh, hmm, I mean, we all know that I'm gassy at the best of times, but this, whoo, this, this does not help, not, not in a little bit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's so chocolatey, okay, so let's not hit escape, we're, we're gonna learn, right, so what do we have, we've got the notes, um, Wiggins might help to find the crew of this unicorn. He should be somewhere at Baker Street. Okay. So I guess we're going to Baker Street then. Let's the tab again. Let's not waste all of our buttons. I did it again. I thought it was the cat. <laughs> I immediately turned. I went, what are you doing? Like, because the cheese has so much energy right now. I don't know what's going on. 
She gets like really excited when I'm not around. So then when I suddenly show up, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Where have you been? What have you been? I've been missing you so much, oh my God. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. Hmm. I have only to find them. Let us Which hope they're still easy. working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Mm -hmm. Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. <coughs> Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. Also, All they have some really snotty noses. I'll summon them. How will you do that? With a whistle. There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Yoo-hoo, little boys. Come to the house now. Uh, yeah, let's call, call Wiggy. Call Wiggy. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Uh, Ice. Wiggins here. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Well, of course, Big Oliver here. from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Famous lawyer. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy! Just gotta look where the rum and the red lights are. Ooh. Hey, you know, some sailors Sorry to trouble Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that alcoholic. you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll I'm be sure. there shortly. You know, it's one of those unicorn things, I think. Um, it's a sea unicorn. <laughs> uh, meet Inspector Lestrade. Cut the top of the boom. Okay. Tab. Look at it. Hit tab. Yes, yes. Lestrade might have a few facts here. We're going. We're going. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this going to be every time? Every time I'm going to turn my head thinking it's the cats. Mm. She's just sitting there now, very prettily, on the edge of the bed, going, Oh no, it's not me. I'm just... I don't know what, I don't know what your problem is, Doden. I don't... Alright, Mr. Rod, where are you? Is that you at the desk? Mr. Holmes, yes, I'm glad to see you. Oh, that's As always, cool. what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. Who? I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. And who is he? Interesting. Great tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around. I wish his face moved more. Do you have him here? Yes. Like he refuses the top to of his head just us, doesn't move when he but we'll talks. Make him talk. It's freaking me out. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Mm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Right? Um, mm. Breathtaking. Well, well, we'll see. All right. I don't have that much faith in you. Oh. Mmm. <clears throat> I warned you. I, I did. Nope. Oh, evidence room. Oh, wait. oh, put the click. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, ooh, it's bloody. These are the suspect's belongings. Oh, no, oh, this is wrong ones. Uh, escape. Here we are. Oh, boots. <gasps> boots. These are the suspect's belongings. Hmm, let's take a look at this. I'll take those, thank you very much. Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. What did I say those holes were? Uh, I'll take Again, a look. Nothing unusual about it. It could conceal all kinds of things. Why is there a bag? The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Is that a, hey, let's go back to the house and use the proper chemicals, or...? Alright, if you're gonna... Door... Liam Hurst. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. For interrogation. 
Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. That's true. Precisely. That means and that, considering uh, your situation, look. it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. Which means you're going down. No. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? Mm -hmm. My name is Liam Hurtley. Liam that Hurtley. I can tell you, but you're not getting any more than that. Why well, not? We shall see. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do this thing. Okay, let's look. Let's look. Let's look around. Okay, we got here. Yeah, let's here. Let's move. We're gonna move around. Ooh. Oh, he's got some bloodshot eyes, man. He's got wispy hair. He's got really good hair. Ooh, look at this scar. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, his hands. Oh, it's really good. It's kind of God in his hands. Oh, because they're covered in dirt. Is that what you're saying? Oh, let's look at the knees of his. Always look at the knees. This is something I remember from the books. His uh, cuffs of your shirt, knees, and arms. Oh, look at that. That's handkerchief. Crested, what? Tit. Oh, that was the same thing on the now. book now. Oh, but no, I want to talk to him. Oh, but it was the... Okay, in... Tab. Okay, what button was it that I needed for... That I did that thing with? I need I need to look. Options. Gameplay. Uh, nope, not that one. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no. Uh, ah, here we are. Uh, no. Watch Sherlock T. T. Watch Imagination F. Maybe. R. Open deduction space. Oh, there we go. That's what it would be. Wow. Okay, so I've got. Um, what is all this? This is all the stuff I have? I would have thought I had more. Oh, there we go. I got the... Okay, we have gardener hands. This guy had gardener hands. He had the crested tit, which is the same bird, I think, that was on the book. Maybe he... Is he also a smoker? <gasps> Ooh, if we put... make If we make him a care... A smoker... Hmm. Hmm. I really want to talk to him again. I'm sure I can pull more information out of him. All right, let's let's head back to here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point in time. I really should have just looked in the fucking book, but. Let's compare the boots to these things here. Do 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 do. Ma 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 ma. Hurtley's boots. <gasps> Drag the boots. These boots these are boots perfect match. match. The footprints exactly. We knew they would. We'd already deduced this using our amazing, amazing powers of recognizing gardener's hands. Okay, I want to take a look at that book again. Do you mind if I take this? I just, I would like to, really like to have this book. Can I talk? Maybe we can, like, say, hey, we found this dude. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, it looks like I can't talk Thank to you, him. madam. Indeed. I want this book. It's got the bird on it. Okay, let's look at our book. What does he try and do hide? His affiliation with this house. Alright, go back to Scotland. Okay, let's 
chat the kid up again. What kid? The man, gardener, flower boy. This time and the last time, I did not think it was the cats. I will have you know. I'm fairly certain. It has been two, two rides in a hansom, and I knew I was not under attack. I got, I got PTSD from my cats. That's that's not a very good joke. PTSD Please versus. escort this suspect for interrogation. For interrogation. That's not his accent. I don't know why I do that every time. Why? Talk to him more. All right, just get him back then. Fine, put him away. That's all for now. Um, I guess we go back to the house and see if. Where's my stuff? Where's? No. No. Do I have? Former soldier who left the military after being wounded. He now lives a quiet life, working as a gardener. Probably at Woodsman's Lee. Yeah, we okay, so we know this. We know the boots match. Okay. And what? Like this is as far as we can get? These are the suspect's belongings. Yes, they are. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. And this fucking bag, which is apparently useless. I would love to know what I'm supposed to be doing to go for it. Final Strahd? Is he still milling around somewhere? No, is he in his office? Um, I'm looking for Inspector Lestrade. Mr. Derek Lestrade? In the door. Ah, oh, there you are. Hello, chap. Um, listen. You're about your man. How is the investigation going, Mr. Rhodes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? No. Has it turned? Oh, yeah, that's as much as you're gonna give me. Fuck. Shapes of noses. Well. That was a big Sherlock Holmes thing, wasn't it? The shapes of noses stuff? Oh, what's down here? Oh, what is this morgue? Oh, creepy. I think I would have trouble, like... I love the, like, smoke. Look at the smoke that they've got in the air. Like, it's... And it's funny because they've got... They've made it sort of static, but it just works a little, like, well as... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Because you don't actually see a lot of people smoking in, in this game. I don't think... I don't recall seeing anybody smoking. But, like, like these people would all be smoking. She'd be smoking. He'd be smoking. These guys would be smoking. He'd have a pipe. Um, alright, let's go to Baker Street and see if the, if the, if, uh, if Chief Wiggins found anything. Or do I have to make some deductions or something? Okay, so we okay, so we did that. All right, so we did make a connection there, which means that we've made we probably made this trip for no good reason here. Oh, look at the map. A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. It could be very useful. A new suspect, but this one refuses to talk. 
This case is more interesting than I first imagined. Well, Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. And not found on Lestrade's wall. Alright, well guys, until next time, I'm going to have a nice little lay down and be play a little bit of the violin or fiddle or whichever those are. And until next time, ciao and love you. Good night.